Okay, so I've been on a roll with filming today, and because I've gotten a few albums, I'm not going to make a haul just yet because I'm waiting on more albums, but this finally arrived, and I have talked about 17 earlier this year, but I kind of just stopped talking about them in my previous videos, and just so you know, I am a carrot. I am a huge, huge, huge 17 fan. I've been looking to their debut since, uh, basically, they were, you know, rumored to debut. And, of course, I kind of was lost um, because I was like, Boy, what's going on? And Pilates was kind of going broke. And they spent their last dimes on their debut, and they, they did a great job with their debut. And now they're getting all that money back. <sighs> Still pissed about the whole after-school like fiasco but i would make a separate video on that because i don't want to talk about anything negative this is 17th video uh, okay so throughout this video i'll be talking about basically um what they mean to me and what they've done and what i expect and yeah so i'll get to unboxing this is the limited edition or like this the special edition of their album the repack Love and Letter. Oh, before I open this, I will convert it to a jewel case so you know how big it is. This album is huge because even though it may seem small here, it is extremely thick and it has so many goodies inside here. So, if you can afford this and you're a 17 fan, you will love this. And I would recommend this, getting this. Um, as soon as you can, because Pledis is um, infamous for having things go out of print. Uh, uh, what's, this, what's the article? New has had a limited edition for their second mini album, and that thing is hard to find now. I'm glad I have it, but it's really difficult to find. But Seventeen is so popular, so at least I think they would make prints of this. But regardless, I would be safe. So here's the things that come inside. There's this. Oh. oh yeah, I almost forgot. Photo cards I got, but I'll show that near the end. You get this thing to um for the regular edition, so it it stacks up with everything. So first, I'll go through. The concert photo book. Actually, no, I'll go through this part first since it's kind of just showing the discs. So, you get a DVD, so that's an extra. I think it's pretty cheap for a special edition, it comes with a lot of things. So, here's the DVD one, DVD two, and to the part which makes this very special the concert, the Boys Wish photo book. If you are wondering who my bias and, um, and uh, 17 is, is uh, Vernon. And if you want to see my whole list, I made a video of in my channel of my bias rankings in 17. But my top three are Vernon, Mingyu, and then June. But I really like everyone in this group. And this is why they become one of my favorite boy groups. And, you know, restored my hope and my interest in K-pop. Recently, because as I've mentioned in some of my depressing videos, kind of depressing, that um, a lot of groups are like disbanding and breaking up. So, you know, with 17, I have something to look forward to every year. And I'm just so impressed, like, with everything they've done. They make, they write, produce, they participate in filming, the concepts, dancing. Ugh. David, I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud. Like, and I really like that concept that Pud is built with them because it helps. Um, it helps them get more money. So if is Uji Uji um Uji um get um he gets to write and produce the songs, he's gonna get more money because of royalties. So. 
And if he writes parts of the raps, like every other member, so... And then they don't have to spend a lot of money with choreographies and all of that. I'm just... I'm so impressed with everything that they, they do. And I'm, I even like how their, their subunits are, really, are, are formed. Um, I hope that each subunit eventually gets, like, their mini-album. So, you know, they get more shine because as a group... The, that's the thing I really love the most about Seventeen is that when they perform, they are like a group. Because sometimes when there are some groups that you there's like three members that stand out the most, or like one member that gets most of the lines. And I know that happens a lot because of main vocalists. Because even though um, the main vocalists do get a little bit more, I think everyone gets their equal share. And as you've seen. Um, June and the eight or well Ming Hao uh, are getting more lines because there's um, uh, improving their Korean and you know they everyone's getting their like their own shine in this group even though they're 13 members I just love everything about 17 like I'm so glad like they thought this really like had success with them because, and they gained success because for a big group, like you need a lot of success for them to like continue because it's expensive to carry out a 13 member group. I hope, like, in the future, like, um, I can really see um, some members acting. Like, I can see, uh, what do I see? Like, I see Mingyu being a good, like, he has a face to be an actor. Maybe one as well. Like the visual line of this group is definitely like the rapper line. But you know, Pettis is so famous for just having like very good looking people in their company. So that's no exception for 17. And for like loves, which are like um, newest fans, please don't hate on Seventeen. Like, they're like the reason why newest has been able to come back is because of Seventeen. Because Platus is broke. I just, I, I just hope that um, you know newest like eventually gets a breakout because their songs are so good. I even bought their album, which arrived. I'll unbox it next, but yeah. And one thing I really enjoyed about the concepts and the direction that they're taking Seventeen right now is that they're not trying too hard to be, like, extremely manly or extremely, like, very sexy and stuff like that. Because I don't have a problem with that, but everyone in this group is so young. And, you know, they are... It's it reflects their personalities. Like, what they release up to now, it reflects their personality. So I like that. I'm not going to have any issues if they do, like, darker concepts in the future. But right now, I think what's best and what fits them some fits them the most is songs, like, the songs on this album. So here's the regular edition. I don't like the packaging for this. For the... the this... I don't like it. Because I like that this protects this, but I don't like how this is... Yeah, it's not my favorite thing. Ajun, nice. So there's a lot of pictures in here. The concept for this were Ajun, nice, or very nice. I really like that song. I did a review of the regular edition of this album. Along with Lovely's and April's comeback. Um, I'm just glad this album is very spring. Going towards summer. So I would... I think I, I, I don't listen to this as much right now. Because it's more now heading to autumn and winter. So, you know. But I think I would listen to this um, more like around like when spring starts or the summer starts. So, like, the songs fit that very well. And, and there's also a rumor right now, well, if you're watching this, like, 
the day I, uplo I uploaded. There is a rumor that they're coming back soon, and I think they are because, I don't know, something in my gut is going to go. And they're rumored to do it, and they've been, like, teasing about it, so I think it's going to happen. And I think, I, I, I repeat myself, uh, I think that um, it's, uh, they needed this, uh, like, another release, and I think it'd probably be a mini-album to really, 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 like, have that final... Um, um, that they need for this year so they can now go towards leading to going against like groups like BTS, um, GOT7, like the newer type of groups that are very successful now. That's what I, I see them heading towards. Like their sales are up there and their digital singles are doing better every time. So um, that's something I'm very happy about. Um, but yeah, I need, I think that if it's a single or whatever it is, it is going to really help solidify their, their status before they take a break and hopefully release another full length album by like late summer of next year or maybe a mini So I think it's very smart if Pledis and Seventeen um, gets it out. Hopefully it's a good song. I don't want it to rush and be like a crappy song, of course. But I think they they stored a good song by the end of the year that didn't fit this album. And Vernon, like, everyone in this group is so likable. Their personalities... I recommend watching the variety shows because even though I don't have time for variety shows, when I was in summer break, I was like, I'm going to go watch some 17 stuff. And I was like, oh, they're so entertaining to watch. And I can't believe I memorized all of their names like so fast. When I watched their, their pre-debut um, show. I recommend watching that if you want to learn about the members. And I am so proud of them because they have achieved so much in just a year. I don't think not even Plet is expected for Seventeen to reach the level that they've reached in such a short span of time. So this is just lyrics. I really like this. Oh. Design for the pictures. Oh, here's the disc. Seventeen, very summer, summer vibes, summer comebacks, spring comebacks. But yeah, so if you're curious, Seventeen is one now one of my faves. They're within my top ten groups. And this is why I don't like this packaging for the regular edition. It's not that great. Ugh, I don't. I, I like the pictures in here, but I don't like how it's packaged. And if you were curious of who I got, I didn't get Vernon, but I got DK or Dokyam. Wait, no. No, well, not Dokyam. I got Joshua. I got Joshua, so I'm very happy with Joshua. I like Joshua. So, Alex, I got Joshua. <laughs> if you're watching this, I got Joshua. Uh, a sticker. And I wanted, like, different members for photo cards, but I got the same members. So, if you want to trade for... Um, I don't even trade, and I don't collect photo cards, but I really want a Vernon photo card. I'm so desperate for at least one. So I got, um, what's his name? Um, s -coops. Yeah, I got two s -coop photo cards. And a Joshua Polaroid, which I really like. But if you want to trade Vernon, comment down below. Um, 
But in general, like I, 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 don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even get upset if I don't get burned because I like everyone in this group. So don't make it. I don't want to make it sound like I, I just like Vernon. I like everybody in this group. But, of course, I want to get Vernon or... What's his name? Mingyu or June. But whoever I get, I'm happy. And the thing... It, once I have Vernon, of course, I want to get every member. Like, with every release, I want to get a different member. So, this is what I have. I usually put these things in a separate... Actually, I want to put this in another place. I'm going to keep the Polaroid inside here. So yeah, I would recommend buying this if you're a 17 fan, if you're a carrot. It's quite expensive, so save up your money. And you never know what plot is because this could go out of print any time any time in a year or two years, so I wouldn't wait that long. Uh, I don't really like the regular packaging. It looked nicer on other people's videos, and I was like, oh, I'm looking forward to it, but no, I don't like how it's packaged. Um, but the extra photo book of this and the DVD makes up for it. And uh, I think, yeah, the... Um, I think the DVD, if I'm not mistaken, it, it comes with English subtitles. I have to check that and put that on the description um, um, for this video. So thank you for watching. Um, I know it's a long video, but this is this album contains so much stuff. But I really wanted to talk about Seventeen and um, tell you guys uh, how and why I like them so much. And it's basically their music and their personalities. Give them a chance. Um, they're totally my style. Um, I know some people don't like their their songs, but I do. And I hope they gain a lot of more fans. So thank you for watching and um, look forward to a lot of unboxings um, this month. Um, yeah, I hope everyone has a great day, a great week. You know, always wish the best for everybody. Who subscribe to me and all my friends um, here on YouTube. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Can't wait for like winter break. And 17's comeback. See you guys in the next video. Bye.